Hello and welcome to CMS Update. In this video, we're going to cover how to reorder slide set images in Widget Kit because right now you can't do that automatically. So we're going to show you how to do that. So we're going to switch over to our admin side. We're taking a look at the admin side. First of all, now it's tricky that you follow this set step by step because there's a couple places in here where if you don't follow it, you're going to have to do a little bit extra work. First of all, we go into the admin side of the site. Then we're going to go into the widget kit. So we open up widget kit. We're going to select our gallery. And then we've got one slide set there. We need to edit that. You see we've got a bunch of images. We've already put them in order. Basically what you need to do to get them in order is you have to rename the files, images, uh, after you upload them. If you don't do that when you upload them, um, you need to number them. They'll be in, they it w displays them in um, alphabetical order. In this case by doing the numbers it ensures that they're in the right order. And you can change the numbers later. You can't change it here within the widget kit. So we need to do that slightly differently. But we've got this open right now. We want to leave this open. Now you need to open a new tab. And for doing that we're going to open a new tab to the new um, extension we put in, the Profiles extension. To do that just click right, right click on Profiles and open in a new tab. We're using the Chrome browser here and that works in other browsers too. Most of them have that. So here we go. We've set this up already and we're not going to cover that right now, but we set this up, the, the profile system, so that uh, you only see the actual slideshow images folder. So that takes you right there. All you have to do here is let's pick one. We've got nothing is numbered 005. So we're going to take this and say we want that to be the fifth one. We click on that. We click on rename and we click down here in the new name title and you have to actually use your cursor to get it to work. 005 is what we're going to do it. We use three digits just to make sure that we have enough digits for anything that could come up. Then we click change. There it is. That's all you do. Now let's say we want to put something. We've already got one, three, four. Let's put something. Let's take this one and let's rename it. And we're going to make this number 2, so 002, and change. So we've made two changes. Um, and if you want to see them in order, just click the name to sort them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There we go. The first ones were all in order. They will be displayed that way. So once we've got everything named, uh, renamed how we want it, and we could change some of these numbers if we want it, um, click exit the exit the file manager. Now we're staying in this tab and we're going to open up widget kit again. Now we still have this other tab open in the original widget kit. You want to leave that. Don't touch that for right now. We're going to go in here and we're going to open this and edit again. So now you see that there are two different um, entries. The ones we renumbered have lost their URL, the links to that image. If you're not using URLs, it doesn't matter. But we are because we want people to be able to click on those. So what we need to do, this is why we kept that other tab open. First of all, which one we do? We do resonance watermark. So we're going to do that find resonance. There it is. So we just go down here and we'll click on that one. So we copy the URL. Then we go over here to the new tab and we just click here and can Control V paste it in. Now the other one we did was junk DNA. Where is the name of that one? So we we'll click to actually triple click to get the whole URL. And then we go back to the new one and we paste it in there. When you're done doing that, all you have to do is click save. So we've pasted all those in there. And that's all you have to do. Um, all your images are now in the order that you put them based on the number. So if you ever want to change it, you just go back in, follow the same process, change the numbers. Um, again, if you want to remove something, you click delete. You can't drag and drop, so that's the only way you can do it. Just make sure you use the numbers properly. That's it. Um, you can now just close your tabs, and when you go to the front end, your images will be in the proper order.
that's it thanks for watching